In this video, we will demonstrate how to build your own high tunnel or greenhouse benches. The first step is to calculate how many concrete blocks, the number of construction timbers, you will need both 8 foot and 10 foot 2x4 timbers, the number of coated deck screws, and length of greenhouse bench fabric slash lath you will need to purchase. You can easily do this by reading our companion extension publication, which is available through our extension service or on our website. Before bench construction can begin, the ground where the concrete blocks will sit must be packed and leveled to ensure an even finished product. Make sure you have purchased and have on hand all materials before starting construction. First, lay two rows of block five feet apart down the length of each side of the proposed bench. These blocks are set on their side, horizontally, so that the holes face out. The inner distance, under the bench top, between the two rows of blocks should be three feet. This allows the top to be up to six feet wide. Use a string line or masonry level to be sure the two rows of blocks are level. For example, if the bench is to be 50 feet in length and their spacing is five feet apart, you will need 11 blocks per side. Once the initial blocks are in place, the remaining blocks are stacked vertically on each initial, horizontal block to create the legs of the bench. Make sure that the blocks on each end are flush with the bench terminal ends and in the center of each horizontal block within the length. The construction timbers are 2x4s. You should have 8 foot and 10 foot lengths. The 8 foot should be cut to create 4 foot long pieces. Two of these pieces are then screwed together, one on top of each other to create one long, thick cross arm that will span the width of the bench. Repeat this step to create cross arms to place in the cavity of each block and across the rows of blocks. The bench top support is completed by placing the 10 foot long construction timbers down the length of the bench. Place one timber on top of each cross arm down the center and along each side of the bench. These sit end to end and run down the entire length of the bench. Fasten down the ends with deck screws. This completes the framework for the bench. Get the roll of lath and set it on one end of the bench frame. Allow one foot to hang off the end. Secure this end down with one deck screw per construction timber, three total. Then unroll it slowly down the top of the framework, one foot at a time. Use three deck screws to secure the lath at the far end of the bench. Then install screws throughout the bench framework strategically so that they will be kept in place down the length of the bench. The bench is now ready for use.